Hi everyone, welcome to my review of Nicholas Ray's Rebel Vatacors in 1955. Here is the Blu-ray, and yes, we are here with a rewatch here. Um, you know, this is the third time that I've seen this film. Um, of course, yes, um, you know, watched it today, um, and of course, yes, it's a film that I, you know, as a kid and everything, I'd heard so much about, um, and I just, just uh, literally a film that I never got around to seeing, but I've been meaning to see it um, on so many uh, different occasions. Um, and then I picked up the Blu-ray. Uh, you know, 2017, um, watched it for the first time, and um, yes, this is film. This film, of course, um, you know, is kind of known to be one of the best films ever made, um, and of course, more iconic as well, even more so for the actual, you know, James Dean performance. Um, the whole kind of thing that happened there, of course, he was only in three films, um, and of course, East of Eden, um, you know, which is the only one I believe that was actually, you know, shown um, before his death, um, of course, a tragic accident. And yes, um, this and then Giant, which was released uh, in '56. Um, you know, they're the only films he was ever in. And of course, you know, he was so praised and everything. And it was just this massive thing. Um, and he could have been in so much more films. Um, you know, and, and yes, even then though, you know, he was only in three films, but he's remembered, you know, as one of the best acts of all time. Um, you know, and this is probably his overall his most um, popular film. Um, you could say. And yes, basically. I was so pumped to see this film uh, in 2017, um, and yes, known to be one of the best films ever made, uh, quite often, you know, appearing in the top 250, even top 100 of all time, and uh, yes, let me tell you, um, this film, you know, and Nicholas Ray, I've not really seen any other works uh, from him yet, um, definitely looking forward to that, but this film is in my top 100 films of all time, um, this is a masterpiece, um, and it blew me away um, in 2017. I watched it again in the same year, just a couple months afterwards, um, and this is my third watch now um, in total. And yes, um, this film is absolutely stunning. Um, you know, it is perfect, and um, you know, it really, it's such a wonderful work. Um, you know, very emotional. Um, it's just great characters. The acting, of course, um, yes, uh, the performance is one of the best of all time. Um, and of course, many people can compare him to kind of Brando. Um, you know, on the waterfront. And, and you know, Street Kind of Desire, which I haven't seen yet, uh, I have seen on the waterfront. Um, and yes, basically, comparing, comparing the two actors um, there, and I think uh, very completely different really for me. Um, but I do think, you know, this is up there with some of Rando's performances, um, for sure. Not, you know, he's very best for me. Um, but I think this performance, of course, yes, one of the best in film. Um, and it's just a character who's so, so amazing, you know, so complex. This film is very, very complex, you know, and of course, at times, narrative is, is fairly straightforward, of, of course, um, and direction, yes, there's nothing um, you know, too different in that sense, but really, um, it's just so fine-tuned, it's so um, kind of complex and, and human, um, and just so relatable that, and, and just so enjoyable. So many different moments in this film, they're so iconic, um, and uh, yeah, I think, of course, um, Jim Stark, um, who, who appears, of course, in the credits, which is just amazing, uh, hilarious as well, um, of course, he's... He's drunk in that scene, and yes, he's taken into the station, police station, and we learn, you know, different things about these three characters, um, you know, Plato, um, Judy, and of course, um, Jim Stark, um, and basically, yes, you get kind of um, exposition on all these three characters, uh, it's kind of like a chance encounter, they all kind of are there, um, you know, on this night, for different things, different reasons, um, mainly, you know, kind of acted out, again, it's not really been accepted, and not really been listened to, not just by their parents, but, you know, kind of, of course it is that, but not just that, just society in general really, um, you, you soon learn. And yes, um, Judy of course played by Natalie Wood, um, and of course Sal Mania, um, you know, of course plays, you know, the other character. Uh, they're the three main characters of the film, um, of course, Buzz as well, you know, is kind of um, the leader of this kind of gang, um, you know, at school and stuff, and of course the first half of the film especially is a big involvement, you know, in that, and um, it's just... A wonderful, charming film, um, you know, a magical film, um, very hard hitting, so powerful, and um, you know, so relatable. You know, I think um, just the way it portrays, you know, school, uh, school life, uh, and of course as well, intertwining with home life and uh, kind of um, family units, it's just wonderful. Um, the script is one of the best for me. Um, it really is something else, you know, just the way it kind of brings out, you know, feelings in, in you and kind of you relate to it so much. Um, the dialogue. It's so sharp, and performances, of course, uh, match that, and it's just really is uh, cinematic perfection. Um, you know, it's kind of Jim Stark is one of the best characters in film, easily. Um, it's so relatable, as I've said. It's so just um, you know, kind of unpredictable at times, um, but very, very sympathetic, um, especially in the second half of the film. Um, it really does become that, you know, and of course, 
it does go different um, routes where it kind of becomes tragic as well. Um, it's not a spoiler review, um, but yes, this film, you know, it just um, it's very, very. Um, there's so much going on in this film, um, and of course, as yeah, the structure of the film is very, very um, different as well. Yeah, and the way it kind of um, the whole sort of last act of the film is very, very daring. Um, you know, a way to end it like that as well. But it is just so good. Um, I think this film, I just love every second of it. Um, of course. The Blu-ray transfer, you know, the actual print and everything, it is not great, um, but the cinematography to this film, um, let me say, is absolutely masterful. Um, it really is something else. Uh, all the choices of lenses, perfect. Um, just the staging, um, the lighting, it's just so wonderful. The observatory scenes, um, some of the most legendary moments in cinema. I absolutely love these moments. Um, of course, I kind of fight after that as well. Um, it's just amazing, um, you know, these three characters especially as well. The way that the narrative progresses, um, you know, kind of delayed gratification of the romance as well. Um, of course, the romance um, between, you know, Judy and Jim um, is so perfect. They're both kind of from home lives um, where they don't really, well, yes, they don't really um, in many ways connect to their parents, um, you know, but of course, Judy's parents are more, parents are more kind of, um, you could say, um, harsh to her in many regards. But of course, they're both kind of um, characters who are acting out, um, you know, against their home life kind of thing, you know, rebellion, but not, you know, not just that, you know, it portrays isolation, um, you know, all three of the main characters really, you learn as well, you know, that the kind of, um, Judy is not really um, one of them, you know, the gang members in a sense, then she's not really, she's just trying to act, um, to kind of have friends in, in many ways, and of course, the other two characters as well, you know, they're all kind of lonely characters, it portrays isolation in that sense, and then they come together, you know, especially in the last, you know, 45 minutes or so, and it's just, it's a wonderful film, you know, in that sense. And yes, just of course, um, the three characters um, are just also amazing. Um, I loved all of the characters. So compelling, um, of course. This romance is just so it's so warm. Um, it's so kind of, so uplifting. Um, of course, it's very, very earned as well, because it doesn't, you know, quite come about at first. Um, of course, the chemistry is there. Of course, many, many hints. And uh, yeah, it's just such a kind of satisfying, um, you know, kind of arc there. But again, here, here, here's when things you know get complicated. Um, of course, the character of Plato, um, and of course, it's implied throughout the film, you know, that he's kind of um, he looks up to uh, you know Jim Stark, has kind of like a father figure, um, you know, of course, because his family as well, which is really interesting. His family um, are not really around. Um, he's getting looked after, kind of by someone else. Um, and yes, there's many, of course, moments throughout the film where, where Plato is angry, uh, you know, his father and everything, um, and yeah, very very unhinged character. But of course, it's not just um, looking up to to Jim Stark, for, you know, for being a father figure. There is actually, of course, many implications. Very easy to see, of course, um, that he actually has sexual feelings for him as well. Um, so yes, basically, it's like a love triangle, really. Um, you could say in many regards. Of course, um, you know, when they were making the film, um, they of course got the filmmakers and everyone got um, messages and stuff saying, you know, warnings basically that it shouldn't be having this sort of stuff in there. Um, but yes, of course, um, you know, James Dean as well actually said, he said um, to, to, to the actor that plays um, Plato, of course, to actually, you know, kind of look at um, look at him the way that, um, you know, that they kind of, Natalie Wood and that um, kind of had the chemistry there. So it kind of, of course, it's a love triangle, you know, um, and very, very powerful in that sense, you know, it really is. And of course, um, yes, it's just um, a trio of characters that is just are so perfect together. Um, of course, very, very compelling in their own right, and it's just um, so powerful in that sense. Of course, the home life as well, uh, you know, of the three kind of characters, especially, of course, Jim Starks. Um, it's just so masterfully crafted. Um, all the scenes there, the script, you know, just the performances, uh, the warmth, of course, um, you know, the father of Jim um, but as well. Just to kind of um, combine that, juxtapose that with the kind of coldness um, that is exposed. You know, to of course uh, Judy's character, uh, the character of Judy, um, and it's, it's just so compelling. Um, you know, this way, the way that of course the film um, escalates and goes to that middle act. You know, the kind of middle segment, that event. Um, it's just it's so amazing, um, and again, very tragic. You know, um, mixed feelings there, of course. Um, you know, for the characters involved, especially Buzz, of course. Um, but yes, it's just it's a film, of course, that explores bullying. Um, you know, in many ways, um, and it's just. So perfect, so sincere in that sense, um, and it's just so powerful, you know, something you can relate to, um, and just, of course, the direction um, is stunning. Um, not a moment does this film um, feel like it's not masterfully directed, um, you know, the editing is really amazing as well. Um, it's just scene after scene, um, 
of just how to write a film, you know, how to direct, how to act, really how to act well. You know, the acting in this film is stunning, especially, of course, James Dean, um, but not just James Dean, of course, everyone involved um, is just so amazing. The score um, by, you know, Leonard Rosenman um, is so amazing, you know, it really is a, a wonderful score, um, of course. It makes the film even better, and, and it's just it's just an amazing film, you know, I think um, it's the early kind of nostalgic scenes as well, um, leading up to that kind of, well, yeah, it's just a wonderful kind of, um, you know, final, final act of the film, um, and it's just... It's very, very powerful, um, you know, immensely powerful. It's kind of, it's got hope in there as well, but, you know, it's just such a, a kind of perfect, um, you know, way to end the film. Um, but, of course, yes, um, you know, looking back to the previous moments in the film, and it all kind of takes place, um, you know, over 24 hours, really, um, this film, and it's just, really, it's just so good, um, the way it kind of escalates, and it feels like, um, you know, a journey, but just over this very, very small amount of time, um, of course, the way that you can kind of relate to, to kind of, um, James Dean's character, of course, Jim, um, even just the, the fact that, you know, he's, he's new in town, he's moved, um, and of course, it's not, of course, um, you know, in, in many regards where he's moving, um, you know, but again, it is as well, you know, it's very complex, this film, um, and it's kind of as well, saying that, it, it reminds me just how kind of well-rounded and kind of, um, you know, it's not got any bias, it's not one-sided, um, and even the, the kind of, the characters like Buzz um, and stuff are kind of, they're all kind of, in, in a way, you know, many of them sympathetic, um, you know, not kind of the characters, um, for example, the one that Dennis Hopper plays, um, very, you know, early role for him. But yes, most of the, the big characters of the film um, are so well layered, um, it's just such a, a rich experience, um, and it's just, it is just um, cinematic perfection, um, it really is, and of course, the action scenes, the fight scenes, um, are thrilling, um, you know, tension, the use of tension in this film, um, and it's just, a film that explores uh, many, many themes, um, all of them masterfully, and um, you know it wraps up perfectly. It really does um, one of the best, most powerful endings for me of all time. And um, I just connect to this film on every level. Um, the romance is, is among my favourites, um, and it's just a stunning film. It really is. Um, you know, it has had criticism. Um, you know, some some of course say that James Dean is overrated and stuff, um, but I really personally don't feel this. Um, for me. Definitely, um, I've only seen this film, you know, from him as well. Um, so as well, Giant, East of Eden, um, cannot wait for them films. Um, probably both um, be bought on Blu-ray at some point from me very soon. Um, but yes, this film and the performance um, for me, definitely not. If anything, a bit underrated, um, actually. I think it's actually my top 70 films of all time, not just top 100. Um, this really is one of the finest for me. Um, and it's very, very close, um, you know, to getting my absolute highest rating um you know this film just does so many things um masterfully perfectly and it's such a relatable film um you know a magical film a kind of it's such a moving film um and it's just you know of course the characters and everything it's just amazing um and it actually gets a very very high and very close to the next tier but 100 percent plus tier one um of course pretty much my highest rating but you know there's the tier s which is almost impossible at times to get into but you know this film is very close um, actually within kind of um, you know definitely within 10 slots um, of that you know kind of um, the, the films like Taxi Driver, um, Vertigo and, and, and Rage and Ball and stuff um, they're around that sort of mark you know it's sort of 10 above um, within 10 above and, and they're ones that doesn't quite get to that level um, you know for me but certainly not um, you know kind of Rage and Ball are the ones I mentioned um, you know for my preference but and Vertigo, actually. But yes, I think um, this film, as I say, very, very close to that. Um, it, is, it is a masterpiece, you know, there's no denying that. And it's one of the very best films ever made. Um, you know, the performances, of course, um, perfect, not just James Dean. This film has the perfect intro, um, you know, and it's just reels you into it, you know, kind of get invested in the characters. Um, I rooted for every single character in the film, you know, the three main characters and even, you know, Jim's dad and, and stuff. And even the kind of um, police police station and some of the characters there you know it's just they're all so amazing it's got such a charm a warmth um you know and it's just the 50s of course was such you know it could be the greatest decade in cinema um i always say the 70s you know is the peak you know for the actual highs and you know quite a few of them highs are right near the top of the you know the very best films ever made one of them films two of them actually are for me the greatest two films of the century the 20th century 
and yes, you know, Days of Heaven as well, not far off, The Deer Hunter, the Godfather films. But, you know, the 70s, you know, at the peak, um, were some of, you know, pretty much the best. Um, the 50s overall, I think, could be the best, um, you know, of what I've seen so far. Um, just how many great directors were working here? Um, Hitchcock, Kurosawa, um, Ozu, you know, and um, even Kubrick. For me, the best director of all time, starting here, not with his best films, but, you know, I think still making uh, masterpieces there. Um, you know, so many directors, some of the very best, um, and it's just a magical time, um, and this film is no exception. Um, you know, it's just a kind of particular charm that really I just love so much um, about the 50s, and, and it's just just an amazing decade. As I say, it could be the best, and this is one of the 10 best for me that I have seen personally. Um, you know, it's just a wonderful film, um, truly human, um, you know, uplifting, tragic, um, powerful, you know, it's just so many different things, um, and it's just it's so investing, um, so kind of um, thought-provoking, and uh, the performances, especially James Dean, of course, just absolutely stunning. Um, he gives one of the best performances of all time, um, and it's just a film that I don't think, um, you know, the other two, you know, of James Dean films I would prefer, but, you know, I think, um, yeah, I think this is the one that really, I think, will probably be my favourite, um, you know, out of the three, and it's just a stunning film. Um, the way it portrays uh, school, you know, kind of... Um, times and everything as well. Home life, um, the way it kind of just has a wonderful romance and kind of, you could say of course, uh, as I've explained, a love triangle um, and you've got one of the best films ever made, um, such a powerful one. And yes, would I recommend it? Absolutely, if you've not seen this film, um, you know, and you, and you love films, um, you know, watch the film, um, hopefully you'll like it um, and tell me what you think in the comments. Um, so yes, thanks for watching my review.